The revolution began just a short time ago. It began with a bang, and Lucha Libre exploded out of Mexico and onto TV screens worldwide with Viva La Lucha. Now tonight, the soldiers of the revolution, the stars of Lucha Libre, reach the U.S. of A, and it's time for an extreme rebellion as luchadors battle each other and the boring status quo of pro wrestling around the world. This is Viva La Lucha! Wrestling fans, Lucha fans, welcome to your Viva La Lucha Extreme Rebellion Preview. I'm Kevin Kleinrock, and for the next 10 minutes, I'm here to walk you through what's going to go down at Viva La Lucha Extreme Rebellion. We've got a double main event, and to understand why that is, we're going to go back right now to what happened last time at Viva La Lucha Revolution. Oh, Perro Jr. is not wasting any time. Directly to the foul, directly to taking off the mask. No wasting any time, chick. And I don't see Tirantes in the ring. I don't see any official in the ring. And the crowd is counting. Three count. And Perro Wild Jr. just got rolled up. And so I guess he's your unofficial winner. But Perros Del Mal making him the official loser as this gang style beatdown just commences. Taking years off of his career, possibly taking years off of his life with the power bomb through the table. Esto no se va a quedar así, perro. Tú me retaste una caída con mi máscara. Yo te tenía espalda, el toque de espaldas. Pero la desafortunadamente tenías a tus perras contigo. Así que perro, por medio de de aquí mismo, yo te reto a una lucha. En revancha el super libre, la extrema, como tú te gusta, como a ti te gusta. Pero con una condición, que dejes en tu casa amarrar a todas tus perras. Pero eso sí, la escoja la más valiente que tú creas que, te pueden, que le puede entrar al quite. Así, tú y una de tus mugrosas perras se hagan frente a tu padre, el hijo de Rey Misterio, y una sorpresa que te tengo. Así que cuídate, perro, porque esto apenas comienza. So the challenge had been laid down, Hijo de Rey Mysterio challenging Perro Guayo Jr. to find a partner and meet him in the ring. However, it would not go down that way because Perro Guayo Jr. doesn't play by anyone else's rules, he plays by his own. And he said Hijo would have a tag team match, but it would be against his hired hitman, the Border Patrol. But Hijo showed up with that partner he promised, and what a partner it was. Super crazy. The extreme luchador was now going to join forces with Hijo de Rey Mysterio to take on the Border Patrol. But pro wrestling revolution promoter Gabe Ramirez said that if Perito could make his own rules, well then he would too. And he ordered the match take place inside the confines of a 15 foot steel cage. And he also said that to the victor would go the spoils because the winning team in this match would be named the pro wrestling revolution tag team champion. That match will go down in its entirety at Viva La Lucha Extreme Rebellion, along with a full undercard of great matches. Let's talk about what you're going to see. First, we're going to go to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California, and a special Lucha show there. And Scorpio Sky is going to take on TJP one-on-one, -on -one, an incredible Lucha action. And then it's the Viva LA Lucha Challenge. Six luchadors who have been working to make names for themselves in Los Angeles are going to get a shot at being seen on an international stage. Diabolic, Thunderwolf, Golden Scorpion, Cyanide, Vintage Dragon, and Bionico are all going to get it on in a traditional six-man lucha tag team match. And the winners are going to be welcome back to a future edition of Viva La Lucha. And then for the first time ever on Viva La Lucha, it's a minis action as Pequeño Piros takes on a mini dragon. These mini superstars pack quite a punch. And then a special sneak preview of the upcoming show, NWA Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. The National Wrestling Alliance is back. 
and Lucha Libre is part of their action. And for the first time ever, fans are going to be able to witness a match between former NWA Tag Team Champions Los Luchas, Phoenix Star, and Zocre as they take on one of the most spectacular, one of the most talked about teams in Tag Team Wrestling today, the Young Bucks. What an undercard. What a double main event. We talked about the Steel Cage match. Super crazy. And Hijo de Rey Mysterio versus the Border Patrol. But now, for the second main event, we're going to take you back one more time to Viva La Lucha Revolution and see what went down between Oliver John, Blue Demon, and Vaquero Fantasma. <laughs> By Maquero Fantasma, who is in reality helping out the Border Patrol and Oliver John. Please, and Blue Demon tried to, try to make the escape, he gets chaired, gets hit by the chair, here comes Oliver John for the victory, Chico! Ladies and gentlemen, the victor tonight, it wasn't pretty and it wasn't fair, but the winner tonight, Oliver John! Always get what you want now, can you, Blue Demon Jr.? I ain't coming down to your not second world, not third world, your third world country. Viva La Lucha, Extreme Rebellion, Blue Demon attempts to extract revenge against Vaquero Fantasma for that brutal attack inside the steel cage. And speaking of steel cages, it is the second half of our double main event, Super Crazy, and Hijo de Rey Mysterio take on the Border Patrol inside a 15-foot high steel cage. It is a huge part of action, Viva La Lucha, Extreme Rebellion, and we're going to leave you right now with some highlights from the show to come. 